Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. So we are covering interest rate problems this week. So let's take a look at our current question today. All right. So the question says, what is the interest rate on a $150,000 loan that requires an annual interest payment of $6,500? And it gives us four options, 3.33%, 4.33%, 5.33%, and 6.33%. So like always, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to pause here, bust out the math, come up with it, uh, get a good answer, all that good stuff. And then we're going to jump into the explanation and answer soon after. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. Of course, hopefully you came up with the right answer. <laughs> so what do we do in these problems? What are they like? Let's discuss. Okay, so first things first, we really need to look at this problem in two or three different ways. First off, what is it asking us? Well, it's asking us what the interest rate is. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that. We already have the annual interest payment, which is this number right here, this $6,500. And of course, we have the total of the loan, which is that $150,000. So it's asking us what the interest rate is, not the payment, the interest rate. Now, how do we do this? What's the math look like? Well, the formula for this basic type of problem is pretty simple. It's going to be annual interest. Ooh, let me write this in white so you guys can see it a little bit better. So it's going to be, again, annual interest, and I'll just abbreviate that INT, and it is going to be divided by the loan. So it's a really simple formula, just like a lot of these other problems. Again, the math itself isn't that difficult. It's just figuring out, you know, what formula to do? Should you multiply, divide all that stuff to figure out the problem? Um, so yeah, from there, that's that's basically it. And that's going to equal, of course, the interest rate, which normally is going to be the percentage. So I like to put percentage there just so you guys know. So from there, let's do the math. So we have our formula. Again, it's annual interest rate divided by the loan amount equals interest percentage. So we're going to take this uh, $6,500. And then we are going to divide that by $150,000. And if you guys plug that in your calculator, it's going to give you a long decimal. It's going to give you 0 0.433333. I think there's like eight threes or something like that. And we're just going to, of course, just round that. And it's going to turn into 4.33%, which guess what is our correct answer right there. So our correct answer on this one is B. That's right, B. So when we're looking at these problems, again, uh, the first thing you really want to look at is what is what is it asking? Because it could be asking, it could give you the interest rate. Um, and, you know, I think, I think we did see that earlier in these problems uh, when we first started these problems, or maybe not. Um, but it could give you the interest rate and then the loan amount, and then you have to find, you know, the annual interest payment, or maybe it'll just give you the interest payment and the interest rate. Um, and maybe it'll give you some other clues and you have to figure out the loan amount. So there's a lot of variation of these types of problems. This week, we're just going to be focusing on 
finding these interest rate percentages because uh, they can be kind of complicated and you guys will see that as the week progresses. We're starting with the most basic version and then of course it's gonna get slightly more difficult um, as we progress. But luckily, guess what? We're here, we're here to together. We're here together to bust this out, uh, learn together and you know help you guys figure this out and make this way easier than it really um, you know, seems to be because honestly, as I've mentioned, and, and I've said this throughout these, these problems, it's more just figuring out the order and what to do. I mean, it, the math wise is it, it's not that difficult. Just take a deep breath, try and figure it out step by step. And I'm sure you guys will do great. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for me today. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys got the right answer. If you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, leave them down below. I'm happy to discuss. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. Make today magical.